Hey, this is Sling Fin Tim, and today I'm going to show you how to replace bent or cracked sections of your tent pole. Today we're going to replace this one with the tape. It's got a little crack at the end here. This kind of happens when the tent poles aren't fully assembled when the tent's being pitched. So you got to make sure that all of the pole sections are inserted all of the way so there's no silver showing. So this will crack the pole like that. So you want to make sure they're all the way in. So what you're going to do is find the pole tip that's closest to the cracked section that you're going to replace. And then you're going to unscrew the pole tip here. You may need a pliers to help you out. But... You're going to unhook the pole tip from the loop on the shock cord. And then you're going to let the shock cord come in through the poles. You're going to take the poles off. For the portal, all the pole sections are basically the same length. So it doesn't really matter what order they're in, except for the end pole, because the end pole has this little dimple in it. And that's what this the pole tip screws onto. So make sure the end pole stays, the end section stays where it is, but the rest of them doesn't matter as much. With our other tents, sometimes they're different lengths. So you gotta make sure they're in the correct order. So you take out the broken section, make sure your replacement section's the same length. It should be. We're gonna take this out and then put it back in. And then you're gonna take the shock cord and you're gonna pull it out, stretch it as far as you can. And then I like to, you can, you can hold it yourself or have someone else hold it for you, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I find a clamp makes it easiest to deal with. And then you're gonna put your shock cord back through the pull sections in the reverse order that they came out. And if you're running out of shock cord, you can put these pull sections together and then pull the cord through again. Reclamp it. Now, once you've got all of the pull sections back on, you're gonna retie the loop in the end of the shock cord. I like just to tie an overhand knot kind of around the, around the shock cord itself. Pull it tight. Clip the pull tip back on. Just pull it through the loop. And then screw the tip back on. And you're going to release the tension in the shock cord, but make sure you hold the cord when you do that so the poles don't snap together. And your pole is good to go. 